since I was a child, um, I have been dealing with chronic fatigue. Uh, even when I was in kindergarten, um, no sleep was enough. Uh, I was commonly found, uh, you know, back in my day, we took naps on the floor during kindergarten and uh, the kids would be up off the floor. The teacher would have to come wake me up and uh, I would be, it, honestly, it was embarrassing to see the kids all awake and at their school desk and working. Um, but, you know, that was just the way I was. Uh, it was common for me to come home after school and have to take a nap as well. Uh, so nothing was ever quite enough for sleep. Um, I had my first sleep study as a teen and then three more in my 30s and 40s. Um, nothing was ever really figured out. They called it idiopathic hypersomnia because they didn't know why I slept so much, uh, both during the day and the night. Um, I, I did both sleep um, studies at daytime and nighttime studies. Um, in my early 20s, I went to a Pearl Jam concert with my husband and I fell asleep. <laughs> and. Uh, I remember my husband saying that he joked, he said, everybody around us was looking going, I want whatever she's on. <laughs> I wasn't on anything. I was just tired. Um, so uh, I started researching um, supplements and looking for answers through diet. Uh, I focused on whole food nutrition. Um, I took some supplements that were whole food nutrition capsules uh, since about 2010. Uh, I kept uh, dietary sugar and carbs low. Um, in 2014, I was diagnosed with a tick-borne illness um, that you get from a tiny little tick and uh, fatigue became even worse. Um, I would have random fevers, uh, body aches, arthritis in my hands, uh, my knees were swollen and uh, that just, my chiropractor told me after hearing the symptoms um, that I should get tested and I tested what's considered CDC uh, positive for uh, this tick disease. Um, and uh, six months into treatments with multiple antibiotics, um, we tried a lot of different ones. Um, I developed full body tremors and they used a PICC line to give me antibiotics where I had, a, I had to take and inject myself daily, um, I think it was three times a day with uh, various IV antibiotics. And that did help relieve me of the tremors, but I continued to still have other symptoms. And uh, it was just constant nausea. Um, after three years, I had been going to various doctors and not seeing much improvement. I quit all the medicines. I did some herbal um, tinctures for a while. And I prioritized um, exercising in the morning, mainly because that's when I had the most energy I was going to have through the day. And I wanted to uh, see if that would help. And it, it did to a degree. It brought me back to what I would call a kind of a, a normal chronic fatigue um, state. And uh, my days were spent um, just trying to do the everyday activities a mom typically does. Uh, clients, I'm a, a, formerly a hairstylist, and um, I would schedule my clients around uh, naps. I would always have to leave a time open in the afternoon uh, for potential need for a nap um, with high probability that that was going to be needed. Um, anyway, uh, my aches and pains would come and go, joint flares would come and go. Uh, and then in 2018, um, I started having uh, some sudden chronic head pains. Uh, and by the end of that year, I was at 25 a month. My neurologist didn't know really what to do because she had tried everything to help me and nothing was really helping. Um, I went super low carb and that did help to bring them down to two to five a month, but they were still there. Um, in 2021, when COVID hit, that's, that was when I got COVID, uh, the head pains returned. Um, I had, again, random joint flares, um, swelling in my hands again. Not, not as bad as it was originally, but it was still there. 
and then weakness that was in my muscles that wasn't necessarily that I wasn't strong. I could still lift the weights at the gym just as much, but I just had this overall like limp feeling. Um, it was really hard to describe. Um, fatigue took on a whole new, uh, level in early of, um, spring 2023 this year. And, uh, I became super strict trying to seek what else could help me to, uh, feel better. Um, and the, the only thing I hadn't really ever focused on was getting, keeping a super tight, um, sleep schedule. And that's when I changed that and decided I was going to go to bed at a regular time. So mostly most nights it was nine o'clock and I was up at six. Uh, it really didn't help. Um, but I kept it anyway. Um, I continue to search podcast and uh, listen to doctors looking for any answers. And I came across peptides and I had been listening um, and searching doctors that I trusted. Did they agree that peptides were good? I knew nothing about peptides. End up saying, yes, they were good. I found two books on them and uh, read all about peptides and was ready to start injections, um, which I was dreading. Uh, but I was ready to start taking injections, had signed up with a doctor locally. He was about an hour away and had um, already had my lab work done when one morning while I was scanning Facebook, um, I ran across a message from a doctor, a pharmacy. She's a PharmD. Her name is uh, Dr. Kishel Southwick, and she was on a mutual friend's um, post. And she had linked something um, for her and it got, it just intrigued me. So I checked it out. I watched the video and it was about your body's ability to restore itself using patches that reflect light. So I was curious. I watched all day long various things that I'd heard about it, researched the company, and I was willing to try because I didn't really want injections. Um, so after patching, um, I, the first day, um, I didn't really feel anything that first day, but the next day I felt like this vague possibility that, uh, I was having more mental alertness and slight more energy. And I found that out because my biggest clue was I didn't feel like I had to fight sleeping in church and just to say pastor bud. Um, that has nothing to do with reflecting on your sermons. It's all me, <laughs> but it was, um, wonderful to be able to just sit through and sit and not feel like I was fighting sleep. Um, by day three, I was feeling extremely blessed. I, my energy rose and it felt like the energizer bunny. Um, it just skyrocketed. I got more done in two weeks than I had in two years as it continued, um, I've been able to add so much to my life, uh, getting projects done, adding in things that I've wanted to do and just didn't have the energy to do because I had to prioritize the absolute necessary things in life. Um, I feel like I've accomplished a lot because I can think clearly and I, I, there's a, a calm in the chaos. My stressors haven't left me. These are just things that uh, have improved. I didn't even know I was uh, feeling like a mental um, a fog and, uh, and how much stress was affecting me, just the everyday life. But um, those stressors haven't gone away. I've added more to it, but there's still just this calmness about me. Um, so Susan, how long have you been on the patches now? So it's been four months now. And, and then which patches are you using? I use almost all of them. Ice wave is about the only one I don't use unless it's unless I'm having the head pains again. And then I may put that on. But for the most part, I worked my way into using them all. I started with X39, um, glutathione, uh, Eon, and the sleep patch, the silent nights. Um I would say my, my energy has stayed steady throughout the four months. Uh, I consider them my little miracle patches and I never want to be without them. Uh, and the, I guess the only other thing is just that like I've gone from sleeping usually around nine hours a night and needing naps to getting around six to seven hours a night and no naps. And it's fabulous.